Good evening. Welcome to the soft opening of humanities101.org. Um, I am uh, Doc. Um, I'm, I'm online, uh, Dr. Dutch. Um, in real life, Dr. Hazlett. Um, and uh, both of those things uh, kind of merging here in Humanities 101. Uh, with me is, uh, or with me, <laughs> is my uh, friend and producer and confidant, Shai, um, who will be joining us on this uh, kind of educational journey in uh, community. And um, again, tonight is just kind of a soft opening, uh, soft launch to see how this, this whole website thing works. Um, we've done this before, but we've never done this before. And um, answer any questions about the course uh, this semester, uh, the assignments, uh, anything that, that people would have. Um, and, and then again, uh, just a little little uh, launching point for the rest of the semester. Um, so uh, before I get started, I just wanted to uh, say welcome. And, and again, um, you can call me any iteration of my name you want. Uh, my contact information, again, uh, doc at, at humanities101.org. Feel free to send me an email there. Um, but as I recommend everybody try to do, in uh, their real life, as well as their social online digital life. Um, I don't check my email 24 um, seven. So I, it's something that I've had to learn over the years to do. So um, I highly recommend uh, you do the same. And just to let you know that uh, if you do send me an email at 12 uh, in the morning, uh, four more before 7 a.m. probably won't get you a quicker response. But having done this for 20 years, I know that sometimes, you know, when you're in the fit of uh, the middle of the night uh, jitters, studying for something, but hopefully there won't be things that you're studying or freaking out about in the middle of the night with this course. All right. Um, so, again, welcome. And um, Shai, um, if you'd like to just say, just who are you and, and what kind of... <laughs> Sorry, just say a little hello here. I'm I'm horrible at this, shy. I'm no, you're garbage. You're, no, right. you're doing you're doing fine. Uh, so yeah, for uh, for all intended purposes, like I'm just Dutch's really good friend who's like kind of techie. So it makes sense to have me in case like there's technical difficulties. But sometimes he does consult me because like he values my opinion too. Um, but uh. Yeah, it's yeah, nice we've... to it's nice to be able to go back and forth because otherwise you feel like you have to fill all the empty space. But I, I liked your your opening with just like, hey, I'm trying to make myself available, but I'm gonna set realistic expectations and you guys should too on how available I'm gonna be when it comes to this. Right. I mean, cause that that is because this is a new method of delivering this kind of education, right? Um and, and I know with the crossover having taught I mean, I started teaching, um, teaching 98, I, I, I think my first class that somebody walked out was like, it's all yours. Um, but, uh, in 2001, I started teaching college and, you know, it, I've watched that progression and I have watched, um, it go from, uh, my colleagues when I first started teaching who said, don't email me. You call me or you don't get a hold of me. You come to my office hours or you don't get a hold of me. Um, to now, um, you know, I if I give my email or my phone number out on my syllabus, students, what's this for? I'm never calling you. Why would I call you, right? Um, and so, yeah, as as it's progressed, uh, I, I think that expectation of instant feedback, because a lot of emails, right, you'll get the bots who respond and it'll be like, oh, immediate response because they know that we need that immediate response and be like we'll respond to you in 48 to 72 hours you know TikTok does that all the time right with their with their appeals and they'll say oh we'll get back to you and never <laughs> i mean they tell you instantaneously because they know we want that feedback so i'm just letting everybody know that that uh, i won't be able to always give you that instantaneous feedback so um but there are other ways, right? There are, that's why we're doing this here synchronously. And then also we will have the chat 
um, in the comments going on in the videos where we'll be able to communicate and then also on the various social medias. So if you haven't followed on TikTok um, or Twitch or LinkedIn or Facebook, um, I, I, pretty much anywhere, um, all the socials are linked um, at humanities101.org um, as well as if you're following the TikTok, because um, there's TikTok here and other social medias there. Um, again, you can follow the link tree uh, in the bio. So um, I was just looking to see if there are any questions. Um, yeah. Oh, did you have Speaking, something to try? Yeah. yeah, I did. Speaking of TikTok, you do make yourself available. Is it Monday and Wednesdays? Is that what I'm trying to mm -hmm. say? Yes, Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, Mondays and Wednesdays uh, from 3 to 4 Eastern. Um, I have live office hours on TikTok. Uh, Humanities 101 uh, is the the at. Again, you can you can link that uh, from the website. Um, likewise, Doc Dutch, and then there's also a, a Dr. Dutch Hilligan. I've I've i sometimes am a bad, a bad boy. Uh, no, honestly, it's the, it's the community standards. Um, I once um, caught a ban while talking to a lawyer about First Amendment rights, which is something that I happened to write my dissertation on. So again, TikTok is funny that way. So um, this is why I have all of the different ways that we can communicate with uh, with the community. So again, this is going to be one of the, the main lifelines, um, should there be any problem uh, with TikTok or YouTube, or I'm uh, not YouTube, but LinkedIn or, and, threads or whatever the heck. Um, and if there's a new one that doesn't suck, because there I know there are new ones every day. <laughs> Everyone's launching the next, you know, great social media. But if there's a new one that doesn't suck, I'll be on that one too. So um, let's see. All right. Hey, I see a lot of people that I know in the chat. This is good. I appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate the support. Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing in the class, um, because this semester, again, being that this is the first semester in this uh, format, I've taught this class for about 10 years. I wrote the course master, designed the class. Um, but with this new method, there's going to be a little learning curve with me, as well as uh, probably with you. Um, some of you haven't been in the classroom for a while. Some of you have never taken a class in this method. Some of you have only taken classes on Google Classroom or this or that. And a lot of it, I'll be honest with you, has been plug and play online education, right? It's been where you go through a module, you take the test, you pass the test, you get the little check mark and you go on to the next module, right? Um, and there will be, I, I will build out some things like that for people because I know that that some people like to have those lists and those check check marks, but they're not going to be barriers and 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 hurdles. Um, those are going to be there for support, okay? Um, because what the way that I see um, this whole class going is that it'll be interactive. I've got some ideas about some of the things we're going to talk about this semester. But should let's say Godzilla comes out of Lake Michigan, we're going to pivot and talk about giant lizards coming out of the Great Lakes and what we can do as humans to deal with that. Because, you know, that that is if there's one thing that this class should be able to do, it should be able to pivot to the human experience that we're dealing with um, in the real. So um, I've got. Um, <clears throat> oh, sorry. Pull up my schedule just to make sure. But I've got you know, we've got topics of. Um, food anthropology of um, 20th century cultural history, um, ableism, holidays, all kinds of things we're going to be discussing. But should there be one or two or three of those topics that we don't particularly like or we do particularly like, we can spend more or less time on that. So um, I've always been responsive, even in face-to-face -face classes in, in, you know, in a physical campus. Um, one of the things that I like to do is is pivot in a good way um, towards things that that seem to be playing, um, and and what I mean by playing, playing with the audience, and that audience being you. All right. So, uh, uh, and and there are um, 
going to be some film discussions. Um, one of the things we're going to talk about is the movie Crip Camp on Netflix, um, which is a really good um, uh, kind of rundown of uh, the ADA and, and, and how that came about, which will complement all of the things that we will have talked about up until that point. 20th century history, um, you know, what do people mean when they say again, when they're talking about America. So nostalgia, um, probably one of the most beautiful and insidious forces, I think, in, in human experience, that nostalgia, looking back on the past and and not quite remembering the way it really was. Um, so I could sit up there and wax poetic about that shit all day, and I will at times. Um, but should you be bored, um, you can pause, right? If you're watching this later, come back to it, right? And that's that's one of the benefits here as well. If um, you zone out on one of my stories and you want to come back to how awesome it is later, you can come back and rewatch it again and again and again and again. So this is good. Um, let's see. So that's what we're going to be talking about this semester. And those lectures will begin on September 20th, Wednesday, September 20th. Um, the first thing we're going to be talking about is kind of an overarching um, discussion of, about what the humanities is. Um, and I'll be kind of presenting a reading list um, probably at the end of uh, this week, uh, beginning of next week. I'll, we'll, I'll post a, a, a list just with some, some basic articles um, and some, some videos uh, that I've actually already put here on our YouTube channel. Um, but, but just so that people have references um, should they want to, to dive deeper into understanding the humanities, those, um, those references are there. Um, for our purposes, um, it's not going to be required that you do this reading before the 20th. And, and that's, I think, extremely important that people understand is I don't expect you to come to any of this information with anything other than your freaking humanity, right? And if you come Without that, I will check you. And there will be times in conversations where um, this happens. Um, and I got a question up here. I'm kind of confused on how this class is set up and how our assignments will be. Can you clarif clarify the set setup of this class more? Excellent. So every week or every other week, we're going to have a Wednesday lecture. All right. And that schedule um, is up on the website now. If you go to humanities101.org and you go to the class assignments section, um, you can see the schedule which has a um kind of a purple hue to it um and it gives you the lecture schedule now those lectures will be again live here um, on all these different platforms but then available immediately afterwards um so you can watch those the next morning or whatever um and that will kind of be our course um lecture section. So we've got lecture, we've got reading, we've got discussion. Um, the reading portion um, is available on my link tree in, in the bio. Um, it is the ableism in, in academia, wait, academic ableism, sorry, um, which is available on the University of Michigan website. So um, I, I know that the campus bookstore um, uh, on the physical campus has that linked, but also, again, um, one of the things I'll, I'll link that from the assignments page. I'll make sure that I, I do that. Um, so I'll link that that text for you. Um, and that is going to be need to be read before we get to after the midterm. So this is one of the things that I, I don't um, because people have their different reading schedules and their different reading strategies. Um, I want to give you as much time as possible to read that that text. So for the next uh, month and a half, I want you to have time to read uh, or, again, read through the audiobook um, because both of those are viable ways. Um, the audiobook and the PDF version are free. Some people, if you want to purchase the text, you can purchase it from the U of M website. You can purchase it from Amazon, Thriftbooks, all of those other places. But it is free and it is open source. All right. So lectures Wednesday, every other Wednesday night schedules up on the website. Um, the, the, the book that's already available to you, the course text. Um, <clears throat> and then the other, the other aspect, the assignments, 
There are two main assignments, a midterm and a final. The midterm, um, again, because it's a humanities class, I make it due around the holiday of Halloween. And then the final obviously comes around after Thanksgiving and in between uh, the end of the year holidays, right? Um, so kind of bookend uh, the semester. Um, the midterm is a food anthropology project, which you will be, um, all of these are videos. All of these are so, you know, engaging in, you don't have to be on camera, but engaging with an audience in an audiovisual format. OK, um, some people will create PowerPoint presentations where they will walk through the PowerPoint because, you know, the, these kinds of uh, programs have the, the options where you can work through slides and, uh, you know, record your voice. Some people will make straight up TikTok videos and that's fine. Um, and, and they'll be on the, they'll be on screen is what I mean. Um, but that's not even required on you know, to make a TikTok video. Right. And, and so, again, with respect to. Um, your own privacy, um, but I also want you to to do this kind of learning in in the way in which we do it now in the 21st century, which is here out open. Um, and so there'll be some mini assignments too, and those act as participation. And, and really, there are a couple of different ways you can participate. You're already here; you're participating right now. OK, so I've already noticed I'm like, OK, there's a name I know, you know, this person is participating. I'm going to see that name again. I'm going to see that name again. Um, you could comment during these these uh, videos. You can ask questions. You could come up and participate in a discussion up here. Um, you could comment afterwards as the videos are posted. We'll have a comment section. Right. And so there will be comments going. There'll be conversations going on probably. Probably, honestly, there may be a conversation, unfortunately, that goes on on your comment for the next 10 years. Who knows? OK, you don't have to be involved in the next 10 years. I'm not going to come back and change your grade in 10 years from now. But what I'm saying is there are going to be those ways to, to, to interact as well. And then the other social medias, which the TikTok uh, office hours, um, interacting and in, in the different social media uh, venues. Um, all count as participation. So your grade is made up of midterm, final, and participation. Three different things. But notice, even within participation, there are three different ways you can participate. Threes, threes, and threes. Humanity. It's just what we do. It's how we remember things. So it's how I organize the things. All right. Three parts of your grade. There's a midterm. There's a final. And there's participation. And three ways to participate. You can comment, you can attend, you can actually participate. Okay. Um, so those, uh, the first mini assignment, I will be posting um, that first week, that first lecture. Okay. So I'll probably wait until after the 20th. So on that 21st, I'll probably get up that morning. Now I'll, I'll tell you, it's all going to be food based. It's going to be fun stuff. So I'm going to be asking you, what's your favorite childhood food and why, or something like that, or what is the best candy bar and why, right? And we may have some fun debates about this, right? I mean, I had a friend once who set the internet on fire by taking a side bite of a Twix, okay? Um, and, you know, um, and, and, and some of you in the chat know that there was almost a war started when a possessive S was used before a description of the idea of hummus. OK, when someone said this is our country's fa country's favorite dish. Um, so food is is a fun. But as Shai will tell you, Shai, sorry, I got to remember where I am here. Um, as Shai will tell you, can be a, a very dangerous and tumultuous subject. So um, just ask the pineapple on pizza people. Right. Um, so did that help clarify for you? Um, I know that some people said, yes, it does. Uh, is it an absolute necessity for us to have TikTok? No, it is not. It is not. You can you can come to the office hours and you can view the office hours uh, from a web browser, um, and that is fine. You can also um, you can communicate with me um, while I'm you know you can send 
uh, messages. And maybe that's something that, that we'll talk, that I will talk, think about um, ways that you can communicate with me in, in real time um, if you don't want to. But here I am, right? I, I'll, I'll be live on those office hours. You can view those from the, from the, the general web, but you may not be able to make comments right without it without a, a an account um so yes you will not be using any other learning management system all right um i i use this this is what i use and my website so um right i i i stay i i know that you know moodle is an open source uh uh learning software there's google classroom there are lots uh, of different ones but i'm trying to do something different um, and, and in part of this is, is a community learning experience. Um, we will be talking next week about the idea of the ivory tower. It is one of the things that permeates the book that we'll be reading as well. And it's something that I constantly am struggling with and being that, you know, um, some of us are, are, you know, transferring on, uh, to other schools, some of us are coming back into this uh, for the first time in a long time. All of this, you know, all of these um, various paths in our journeys. Um, uh, it's going to be a it's going to be a new road for a lot of us, right? In this, but but I I think that it's an important one that that we need to we need to undertake. So I think that it there may be some some bumps. And if this doesn't seem like this is the class that you want to take and you want to take a more traditional class, there are those classes for you. And I can tell you the people to take for them. Um, but I, I I don't want traditional. I want to innovate. Um, and, and I may break some eggs while we're innovating, um, but I'm never going to break them on your face. And if you know that reference, ah, right, um, because I, I've had eggs broken on my face. So just to clarify, we only have to do one of three ways to participate to get the grade and participation, not all three. Right. I mean, again, to get a grade, yes. Um, do you want the best grade? Participate. Um, I mean, social media is, is it needs to be social in order for it to work. But I understand that there are people that are busy and I understand that there are people that uh, life happens as you know, Shine, I say all the time, and we need to normalize life happening. So there are going to be ebbs and flows to your participation, I would imagine. And that's okay. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. So other than office hours, you mentioned emails being an acceptable way to communicate. Is that your preferred method if people do not? Yes. Um, so, you know, one of the best ways would be to uh, to to use that doc at humanities101.org, because when I am on social media, that thing pops up everywhere. Right. And so if you send me an, an, an email during during my office hours um, and, and again, it's a general question that you want me to answer, you know, openly, I you know, or even if your email prompts a question in my head, I might address it, but I'm, I'm not going to say you know, so-and-so sent me this email and they want to know about the grade. This, again, this, all of this is protected. All of your information is protected. So if you're worried about um, privacy and communication, yes, email, email, email. Okay. Um, and, and any, any questions you have, any concerns you have, if you would like to schedule a private Zoom, we can talk about, we can do that. Okay. Um, we can, we could meet one on one if you've got those those questions and you're you're nervous about um, doing it in a, a social context um, because uh, you know we can even have uh, I can send you a link um, in a text message and and we can have a private room on this platform not broadcast to people because uh, I'm in a studio right now not in YouTube but we're broadcasting too so um, you know it. Yeah, there are tons of ways that we can communicate. And the best thing that you could do is provide a, a question to me that I don't have an answer for, but I need an answer for, for this platform. So this is, this is great. I mean, all these questions and these concerns 
um, I, I want to adapt to them and I want to make the class adaptable or, or you know, adaptive to them. Right. And so that communication is one of the things. And I know that one of my former students who is interested in helping me on this, he wants to build an app. And I'm like, well, baby steps, baby steps, um, because he doesn't like the encryption of WhatsApp and he doesn't like this and he doesn't like that and signals clunky. And um, so uh, so he would he would one day like to do that um, right now. Uh, this is why I have suggestions, a suggestion box on the website, so that if there are uh, uh, technologies or interfaces or any of those things that I don't know about because I can't know everything, if there are guests, topics, issues, you can also drop those there, right? Um, and those come to me um, and and they can come anonymously. Um, I wait. There's a name section, there's an email section, but but obviously, you know, if you need to, you can send them to me anonymously. Um, I, I'm I, I, I know that this is disconcerting for some people because this is a parasocial academic relationship. Um, and you're you're used to either an online module that you've learned how to navigate um, or a face to face class which you've also learned how to navigate. You access the website at www. www you can tell how old I am there. www.humanities101.org, right? Um, and yes, um, uh, will the side quests only be posted on TikTok or will they be posted on some other platforms as well? Um, well, when I post uh, the side quests to TikTok, right? Um, I will always uh, send it to YouTube in our shorts or in our videos, right? So the, 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 it will be there as well. So for those of you who want to do the side quest, but again, don't want to post those, that's where you'll get that side quest information. You can send your video to me on by the due date, as long as it's to me um, or posted, we're good. So um, you could, you know, the, the people who post it on social media and hashtag it, I'm going to I'm going to find it that way. Um, but the people who um, are not comfortable with that. And again, I completely understand. Um, they can send me the file. They can send me the, the, the video itself. You can shoot it on your phone and then you can send it off. And hopefully that makes sense. Da, 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 da. So, other questions to see some side quest posts. Okay, so that's for the assignments. And yes, and, and if you'll notice, I've already posted the midterm, even though I don't expect people to start working on it until we at least, um, you know, let's get at least to that first lecture on October 4th about 20th century U.S. cultural history. Um, uh, but, you know, if you want to take a look at the midterm, you know, I know some people, their brains will immediately start you know, churning because again, food is one of those things that we hold extremely dear. Um, and I know, you know, if you think about your family, your, your, um, your friends, your social groups, um, and how they define chili or how they define, you know, what is proper pizza toppings or who has the best shawarma or whatever. Um, you know, and that's what I remember Shai even today was saying, can we just say my favorite is not the best is? Um, and, and again, and, and um, that's something that we'll talk about, you know, favorite versus best, um, good shawarma versus bad shawarma. Yes. And and so uh, the question came up, if we don't post it on TikTok or YouTube, would we send it to you uh, via email? And yes, you would send it to me via email. Now, there are ways that you can create YouTube, you can create a YouTube account and you can make your video private and you can just send me the link. And the only person that will view it is the person who you sent the link to, right? So if you don't want to burden your phone with big files and all that other crap, there are ways to do it. Okay. Um, and if that's something that, you know, if that's a resource that you would like uh, some information on, Drop it in the suggestion box and go, hey, could we get some resources on how we do that? Because I'm not going to I'm not going to create the resource unless there's nothing out there. 
but I will scour, uh, you know, the internet and say, Hey, is, are there some good resources out there that can answer this question? And I'll provide them for you. And if there aren't, I'll create them for you. That's again, the whole point of this humanities 101 thing is to, to, to create this knowledge in real time. Uh, is there a schedule of due dates for all the assignments? Yes, I think I've already, I think I, where did I post that? Or did I write it and just, I've got it in my head. Hold on. Did I write that in my, I think I, I think yes. There will be, I will be making sure that the due dates, let me put that down here. So, because I know that either I put that in my, in on a document today, I have been working on that. Um, but as I mentioned, midterm, um, I make uh, it will be due, I believe, um, around Halloween. <laughs> I can't remember if it's before or after, I believe it's after because I don't usually um, like to make things due before holidays. Um, just because I know that some people wait till last minute and then ultimately screw over some of the people in their family or friend circle in order to fulfill their, their schoolwork. And I don't want to be the reason for that. Um, I don't want to be the reason that, you know, um, when you missed your anniversary because you screwed up your, your midterm, um, I don't want, you know, uh, one day you to say it was his fault. And when, you know, everything goes to shit. Your, my face is what you see. I don't, I'm, I'm not going to be, don't, don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Um, so, um, <laughs> so the, so midterm, um, will be, uh, Halloween final will be that first week of December. Okay. Yep. My outfit does match my poster. Yep. I, I'm 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 a, I'm a shameful self plugger. All right, so sounds great. Schedule's posted on a website. Thank you. Yes, the schedule is posted. Hisham, uh, for the midterm and final, we need to make a video. Right? Yes, you will make a video, and those are going to be a little longer and a little bit more in depth, right? Because you're going to be researching for the midterm, for instance, you're going to be researching a food artifact of a given decade. Uh, for instance, let's say the 1980s, and you're going to say, okay, well. Um, I got the 1980s, uh, you know, middle class, and I'm interested in the, you know, um, Jello pudding pops, and how the middle class went crazy for Jello pudding, in snack packs, uh, convenience foods of the 80s, um, and look at why, why was that popular? Why did that? Why? Why was that? Um, you know, if you were to think of the 1980s and you were to think of food and you're like, Jello is my thing, right? Um, why is that uh, the food of the 80s? Why, why can we look at that time? And if you were to show me that artifact, I would go, 1980s. I know that's the 1980s, right? Um, now, there's no right answer to the midterm. There's only incomplete and complete answers. And that's the best thing about it is you get to get to kind of delve into an aspect of the midterm that you find interesting. Um, I have some students that are, you know, culinary arts students and they go into the recipe aspects and they're really interested in what were they doing? You know, why did in the 1960s French food become popular in the United States? Why was that chic all of a sudden? Right. Um, or why did sushi in the late seventies, early eighties, why was anyone who, everyone who was anyone eating sushi, but now you can get it in a gas station, right? Um, why is that? Um, those kinds of questions is, are really going to be focused in the midterm. So, um, you know, a lot of people don't know that there were cola wars in the 1980s. Um, and, you know, and, and so students delve into those research projects, um, for the midterm. And so it's, it's all about food, but it's about the history and how it defines us. Right. Um, and so those projects, even though they're not research papers, they're not something that you could just sit down and go, well, I'm just going to talk for five minutes on pudding pops. Um, unless you're a Toastmaster, um, you know, that's extremely hard to do to just, you know, get a random object 
um, and, 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 and talk about it. I would be hard pressed to do it. And as I can tell you, I can lay on the bullshit thick. Um, and I think it would be very hard to come in and, 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 and do, uh, off the cuff kind of video. Um, so the research, the, 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 and when I say research, um, anthropological, sociological, but popular culturally or popular, popular cultural, all right. Uh, research, um, which may take, uh, may have you looking at a Betty Crocker cookbook or may have you thumbing through digitally or in, in real life, an old digital magazine. To see, okay, if I'm looking at Tiger Beat from the 1980s, what were they pushing on the kids as far as snacks? Or Googling 1990s kids or 1990s Saturday morning commercials and seeing what were the food products that were ubiquitous in the 90s. Um, I will tell you they were extreme and they were la are largely weirdly colored. All right. Purple ketchup, people. Um the jello pudding pops for what your sister craved when pregnant for your nephews. I hear that, right? Yes. Uh, and 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 with your sister-in-law, it was chicken nuggets. It was meat. All right. Um, so participate. You'll innovate. There'll be no hate. Think about the food we ate. I think we got... I like that, Jen. Try not to hate. Prognosticate. No, sorry. Um, we'll work on a, a, a video. 80s 60s you, there you go see another thing that if you if you watch that in excess video and if you know what i'm talking about where he uses the cards try not to hate celebrate that is actually a fucking throwback to bob dylan so if you don't know these echoes yeah oh we've got we've got celebrities in our chat so, um, yeah, the Cola Wars. So, um, let's see. Any other questions? Any other concerns about uh, assignments, uh, lectures? Like I said, the first one's going to be on the 20th. Um, there, there is no original content. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, never. Why would there be? Are you trolling? Yes, there's going to be original content. There is none now because I'm in the middle of creating it. Would you walk into the Sistine Chapel and ask Michelangelo if he was done yet? Jesus. No, I, I don't know. Am I am I misunderstanding that question? Sorry, that's my sister who's who's picking on me. So yeah, video. Oh, that. yeah, yeah, sorry. Video length. Um uh for uh the mini assignments, um, you know, uh, uh, under a minute would be probably fine. Uh, for the for the midterm final, um, again, even though I know people will not do this on TikTok, um, I I say three to ten minutes because that's oh that's that's the that's the length for a longer video. So three to ten minutes. No, I mean everyone borrows, learns from. Oh yeah 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 yeah. There is nothing new under the sun, right? They wrote that in Ecclesiastes. Um, so yes, we're going to do exactly what everyone else has done, except I am not going to convince you that I did it and charge you for it. That's going to be the difference, um, is that I will not convince you that I invented it, um, that, that I hold the key. And if I don't know, I will tell you, um, that has been one of my promises ever since I've started teaching college, because I hated the professors who would say, I know. Um, and then give you an answer that you would later go on and disprove. Um, so um, no, so no, you will not have, you won't have written assignments. Um, unless, unless again, you're more comfortable with that and you would like to utilize the technology to write the assignment and have the video, ha have, have the, have the paper read. Um, because we know that, you know, you can go in and, and make a PowerPoint presentation um, and it can be read in an AI voice. We know that TikTok has that capability. I'm sure there are other programs that have that capability. Um, so, you know, if you're more comfortable writing things out, trust me, there are going to be a couple of these lectures that are going to be scripted. 
And they're going to be a bunch that aren't. Uh, because the ones that I want to make sure that I hit the right things and I talk about the right things, I'm going to be reading. Um, and I may even pre-shoot them and edit them just so that they're a little bit more polished. Um, and so if I'm giving myself that grace, I, I, I totally want to give you that grace. OK, so if you are concerned about, oh, my God, I don't know how to edit a video. Oh, my God, I'm, I'm concerned. Again, let's talk. Send me an email. Um, you know, if need be, we could, you know, we can meet virtually, um, and, and we can work on, on how, how to do that if you would like to learn. Okay. Even though I don't teach that aspect, um, it's something that, that I've been able to pick up fairly well. My content's garbage, but, um, yeah, my, my social media content, my academic content is brilliant. Kidding. I'm humble too. Kidding. Not kidding. <laughs> so, uh, and and again, and Sabrina asked a question: Are they are the assignments weekly, and what do the assignments consist of? Again, the assignment midterm final, um, uh, and and if you're coming in a little late, um, I'll, I'll answer this one more time. But then again, I, I will have this on in the archive uh, so that you can go back and, and look at this. But we have a midterm and a final and participation midterm around Halloween time, final after. Uh, Thanksgiving before uh, uh, the middle of September or middle of December. I think it's like the first week of December. I have that due. I will have those due dates up for you on the assignment page by the end of this week. Um, and uh, participation, the ways you can participate uh, coming into class or coming to class when we're holding them, participating after the fact in the comment sections um, on uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, TikTok, YouTube, um, or coming up and participating in discussions. There'll be times where, uh, you know, we may have some open discussions and I offer for students to come up and share their, their ideas and their experiences. Um, and I can text you links, uh, and, uh, you can pop in, I can, I can email them to you as well. And then you can come in, uh, and, uh, boom, you're there. And again, people are asking, when will the assignments be posted on Moodle? Assignments will not be posted on Moodle. They won't be posted on Google Classroom or anything else. They're posted right now on humanities101.org. So if you go to humanities101.org in the assignment section, um, you will see that the um, notes for next week's lecture are already up in graphic form. Uh, we'll be talking about, you know, humanities. So there's, there's questions. Uh, there's a questions graphic up there. Um, as well as the, the lecture schedule. Uh, and then if you go under the midterm, uh, the midterm assignments already posted, as well as the explanations of the mini quests. Um, and like I said, or the side quests, sorry, the side quests are little mini assignments that are participation. So, uh, you know, if you are less than interested in being on screen or being in the comments, um, those little side quests are the ways that you can get participation. And yes, you can turn them in through email. Now, see, is it brilliant and humble? Yes, those are words I would use to describe you. I'm not humble, but now I think you're calling me stupid. Like, what's up, sis? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Um, so yes, you can turn them in through email. Um, and as I mentioned, uh, please note there are ways on the YouTube, uh, on the YouTube, on your YouTube account to make a private video and send me just a link. So if you're worried about space, if you're worried about, oh, I know, um, if you're worried about all of that stuff, uh, again, we can do, we can work around. And, and if you're really worried about that, I have all of the crazy encrypted social media apps too, because I've got crazy encrypted social media friends. No, I mean, Shy wasn't the reason that I downloaded Signal, but I do talk to Shy a lot on Signal. I'm just saying. I was, I mean, I've got some friends who said, I will not communicate with you if it's not on Signal. Um, and when I was like, oh, you're fancy. Oh, and you're really intelligent. I think I'm going to go on Signal. Um, yes, and the side quests are, are videos too. Um, if you, uh, you know, again, that may be something uh, I'll, I'll revisit, and I'm gonna I'm gonna write down here because I know uh, Tayaba. I think 
the question that you're asking really is, um, you know, I think you want to write some stuff and, and we can, we can work on that. We can talk about that. So if you want to reach out to me via email, um, let's talk. Okay. So if writing is more your, your shtick, um, let's, let's talk about it because there are ways that, that we can do that. Assignments again, can be found humanities 101.org. You go to the assignments, uh, link on that page. Um, and I think it says there's a class signup link and then there's an assignments link. Um, and yes, uh, Signal is different than WhatsApp, TikTok. TikTok, I'm getting questions from TikTok here. So um, let me see if I missed any questions here. Do, 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 do. You're afraid to sign up. Um, and I understand that if, if you're afraid to sign up, you do not have to sign up for the, for the class to attend the lectures. Okay. Um, now, again, if you're taking this for college credit, obviously you do. <laughs> but if you are just taking this, um, you know, if you're auditing this this semester um, through the general social media, um, then, you know, you can attend the lectures and participate in discussions. Um, you can even turn in assignments uh, for feedback. It just it, it just you won't get any credit at the end of the semester. Right. Um, and if those uh, people who are you know looking to take it online and, and getting any certification, then you won't get that either. However you can sign up next semester and the work that you've already done is already done. So that's, I think one of the benefits of this. Um, I think I need some videos explaining how we can do and submit the assignments, uh, meaning how you, well, and, and I'm going to be giving you examples. When I post the first mini assignment or the first uh, side quest, I'm going to post my own example. So I will post the video and then I'll probably go right down in the comments. I'll make a comment and then I'll post a video response, which will be my example of the side quest. OK, um, and then, you know, um, you could respond to you could post it in the comments of that video, all of that stuff as well. Right. Um, you could post it on your own page and you can hashtag it. Um, you can simply make a video and then email it. If you're like, okay, I saw the side quest because again, it's going to be on the YouTube. It's going to be on the YouTube section. It's going to be on the, the you know, I, I will send it to as many of the social medias as they will allow me so that you will be, um, you will be um, informed. Okay. Um, so, and then as far as submitting the assignments, um, I will uh, again, show you, give you lots of examples. OK, um, and, and don't worry. Somebody asked if I'm taking attendance. That's the thing about the Internet. There's a record of all of this. We see you. We know you. There's there it is, um, which is why I also give you the option. Um, and if you haven't taken it, you can you can still go and sign up and take it now. Um, if you would like to use a social media avatar name, alias, whatever and not use your full name, feel free to do so. All right. Um, because this is happening out in the public, um, you know, I give you both my social media avatar and my real name, but you do not have to do that. Please protect yourself, your, protect your sanity. It's the 21st century. Okay. I know that a lot of you who have grown up digital natives, right? So if you are you know, half my age or less than that, which would be what, 23 or younger, you have grown up in the social eye. So you don't worry so much about your name being out there, or, you know, because you, everything's out there. However, I want you to have that option. And I want to encourage you to take that option. Because should you want to explore ideas, identities, or mindsets that you can't in the real world, this is your place to do that. OK, um, so if you want to go on to the website and sign up and let me know of a social media avatar name, alias, you know, username, whatever that you want to use um, rather than your given name, that is fine. Please do so. OK, just do so by the 15th um, so that, you know, um, I've got record of that. And, and, and if you're worried about me sharing that with anyone, I'm not allowed to. 
Okay. Uh, you know, because unlike, you know, other people, I take the law very seriously and I take FERPA very seriously, which is the federal uh, student protection law. When I was in college, they listed our grades on a public board, bulletin board. They would come out with a sheet of paper and post your grade so everybody could see your grade. Now, how did you find your grade? You looked for your social security number. And then you ran your finger over from your social security number to your grade. And all the person behind you had to do was watch where your finger landed, know what your birthday was, and, and again, walk outside the bookstore. And there were 14 people with applications and sign up for a credit card. So I take that shit very seriously because I'm from the, you know, the, the realm of when they didn't. Okay, that's a 1998 law. Um, and I was in teaching college during 1998, and, and I had professors um, that were very uh, much opposed to that idea and very much uh, proponents of that idea. Um, so uh, the due dates will be listed on humanities101.org. Okay, so humanities101.org will be where you get your information. OK, um, on the assignments page, there's there's an assignments page and all the information will be pushed there. Um, if we need to build other pages for information, there will be resource pages built throughout the semester, things like this. Again, we're going to um, to adapt. Um, yeah, feel free to. Again, yeah, you can leave. You can you again, you don't have to attend in real time. You can attend tomorrow. Watch this recorded. Leave a comment then and say, hey, I saw this. I'm good. Everything's cool, right? Um, because I will have record of that. I understand this is confusing. I get it, Zara. This is this is a new process for everybody. And, and it is, as I mentioned at the beginning, this is not something that we can go through and, 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 and just uh, do it like it's always been done. Because that's part of our problem, is that we've been doing it like it's always been done and expecting different results. Um, now, I am on, on physical campus tomorrow. So if you would ever need to meet physically on campus, feel send me an email. Let's, let's, we can meet. We can talk. We can walk through this stuff, okay? Um, I don't have a... Physical, I mean, I do have a physical office. I'm in between physical offices right now, so I don't have physical space. Um, but I have the ability of space. We can we can set up a meeting, okay? Um, we can meet outside campus safety. There's wonderful spots right there. They've got wonderful new furniture. Partially inspired by more. Uh, because I was like, hey, let's have some comfortable furniture out here where we can collaborate with students. And they'll feel safe. And they were like, okay. And now we have furniture right out in front of campus safety so that we can meet and you can meet with people and, and well, inspired by me and, and students that wanted to have safe spaces. And I just was loud and kept saying, we need safe spaces. We need safe spaces. So if you want to meet in, in, we can, we can totally meet. Um, but, but again, um, I will be posting more videos on the humanities 101 page this week. I wanted to utilize this time. And, and I know that people are freaking out. I know that some of you guys are going, hey, I signed up and I haven't gotten any assignments and I've got assignments in other classes. And why don't I have and why? What? Yeah, huh, I'm going to calm down. All right. Part of what I did as well is I know that you're freaking out and busy in those other classes. For your never for for to be marked attended in this class, all I wanted you to do was sign up and subscribe. Right. And, and that way you could focus on all those other classes, getting all that other work done, because I imagine in your other classes, what's going to happen now is about in a week from now, some of the work will die down and it won't pick back up until mm, about mid November. There'll be a huge lull where there's no work done for about two months and then there'll be a buttload of work done. I fit right in that pocket of where you're busy getting ready with everybody else's classes and then you're busy working on everybody else's finals. I like to sit right in the middle there and say, hey, I'm here when you've actually have some time. Okay, so I know that that 
kind of feels like it's a bear trap to some of you because you're like, if I don't hear anything, I'm not getting the message. I'm not getting the message. But this is why I'm saying go to humanities101.org um, and you will start getting emails. You'll start getting emails reminding you about the lectures, reminding you about all of that stuff. Um, I just don't want to inundate you with information so that you start ignoring me because I've seen the data. If I send you too much, you'll silence my notifications. All right. I'd silence my notifications. I annoy myself. So, uh, you know, again, um, yes, and I will be posting a video on how to do the assignments and how to turn them in. Yep. I will be posting that on Humanities 101. Uh, and when I post that on the TikTok uh, channel, I will send it to the YouTube channel. So as long as you are subscribed to the YouTube uh, portion of the class, um, you're going to get all of the stuff that I push onto the TikTok and, and vice versa. Okay. Um, I, I, I had that redundancy built in because sometimes... Um, we go, we can access the one, but not the other and everyone, you know, and, and people have asked why, I'm do, why don't I use Moodle? Why don't I use a uh, campus resource? Why don't I use this? Why don't I use that one, um, accessibility Two, maintenance, um, because it always seems like it's the weekends in the middle of the nights when you're working on your work and that's when the maintenance on those systems happen. Um, and, and likewise, right before finals in midterms, it's always seems to be when they like close stuff down for, for maintenance. Um, and, and for, for third, it's convenience. Um, it's, it's the fact that this is accessible and, and, and accommodative to a lot of people and the most amount of people, and we can communicate in real time, um, on various platforms. I mean, there are people right now on, on LinkedIn watching this. There are people on Twitch watching this. There are people on YouTube, vice versa, or in all the other, you know, um, I'm sure I think I got it sent to Instagram and a whole bunch of other places too. Why it's not Instagram anymore, whatever the hell it is. Is it still Instagram? No. Yes. It's still Instagram. They haven't taken it, but they connected Instagram to another social media that you can't down. Yeah. What, threads is that right shy threads yes and notice i didn't put the the before it so i only put the the when i'm talking about the channel so i'm not i'm not saying the youtube and the tiktok i'm not that old all right meta yeah screw meta um yes to facebook great way to, to hold this class thank you atif i appreciate it and again i understand that this is nerve-wracking but remember that supposedly the smartest man in Western civilization, Socrates, said that writing, the written word, would be the downfall of Western civilization. He said that literally the fact that people would have an ability to write shit down, ugh, they were going to, you know, forget things. Um, so just just remember that. OK. Um, and, and, and then the printing press was going to destroy the world. And, you know, I mean, there are learn growing pains and learning curves but it's not the end of the world. Um, right. That's, that's, and that's, and, and, and as Angela, Angela Crowell just mentioned on, uh, on YouTube, James Franklin Henderson would be loving all of this right now, accessible design for all available for credit. And also for anyone who just wants to learn um, well done in my opinion. And I appreciate that compliment because um, that is one of my mentors. And that's the reason why I'm doing this because I heard his voice in my head and if you know him his voice was loud and, and and shrill and he would tell you that was a good word um to use for his voice um and uh and i would hear him saying you know turn that bullshit into fertilizer turn that bullshit into fertilizer um and open doors open doors because i asked him in the 90s in this new world kind of coming because the end of apartheid i mean i was in college when this stuff is happening right um, and I said, in this new world, where do I fit? Right here I am, you know, kind of white dude, you know, and, and, and Doc was a very militant, um, you know, pro everything cool guy. Um, and, uh, and he says, well, honestly, your door, your job's to knock on the door. He says, your job's to knock on the door. And when they look through the peephole, I want you to wave and give your biggest 
white boy smile, right? Um, and he said, and then when they open the door, you step aside and say, I brought a few of my friends and you let us come in. Um, and, and then he said that and remember to pick me up that potato salad because I, I, I brought, he ate my potato salad one day and then I had to bring him in potato salad for lunch every day because I worked for him and, and, and he was like, that's it. I want, I want. And so then I, then I was making him lunch. And so I had to then start charging him for those hours too. Damn it. Um, yep. And never pick a fight with people who buy ink by the barrel. That is true. That is true. I like, I like old Mark. Um, and thank you, Rayanne, for the compliment. I appreciate, uh, and, and this is, again, feedback is welcome. So if you are like, I absolutely hate this, you can go to the suggestion box and you can be like, I don't like this. You, you know, um, you stupid glasses, change your glasses. Um, that's fine. You're not going to offend me. Um, as I posted today on uh, the social media, uh, much better people have said much worse things about me. So uh, <laughs> you can... You know, I, I, I am open to the feedback. And yes, it does always come back to food. So um, if there are other questions, other concerns, other issues, I want to be cognizant of everyone's time. And we've already gone for an hour. And you know, I'll save all my other fun stuff for other other days and other dimes and other dollars. Because I, 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 ha I want to put Shy through the, the Turing test one day to make sure Shy's a real human. I want to put myself through the Turing test, too, because that's one of the things when we have interviewees up here, um, I would like to do a Turing test. Um, and then also, if, you're, if you ever watch Inside the Actor's Studio with James Lipton, which I know nobody really has unless you're an old person, um, there's an adaptive question list, which is adapted from another interviewer's question list. And I've adapted it even a third time. Um, but you know, one of my favorite questions about, you know, what's your favorite curse word? Like, that's awesome. Um, in the suggestion box, uh, Ms. Julie asks, uh, where is the suggestion box? If you go to humanities 101.org, it is right on the homepage. Now, um, what used to be a sign up is now a suggestion box. The class sign in is, um, on the class sign in page. Um, yeah, and the live meeting for next Wednesday is the same time as today, 9.30. I'll be coming on talking about the humanities. Excuse me. Um, and I'll be solo that day, um, and I'll be talking about, I'll have some, you know, the graphics. Uh, we'll be talking about the humanities questions. What are the humanities? How does it differ from divinity? How does that differ from law? How does that differ from all of these things? kind of talking about the ancient university and the way in which things were established um, and then where we're going to be going. So it'll be a very intro kind of class, um, but I've already posted um, a playlist on, on our YouTube channel um, that kind of discusses humanities in a kind of general way. Um, so if you want to take a look at that, that'll help you prepare for next week. Um, and that will, our first mini assignment um, will be you defining your definition of humanities. So that will be important for you to kind of, um, if not, attend, you don't have to attend in real time. So if you've got crap you've got to do next Wednesday night, wake up Thursday morning and watch it on, you know, watch it uh, recorded. You can comment and you will still get credit for those comments after the fact. I will be, I, I will see your comments. So you don't have to comment in real time. OK, um, I, again, I want this to be flexible for you and to work around your schedule. Some of you I know are, you know, uh, because I've got students who are at home being homeschooled and some of you are taking college classes for secondary credit or post-secondary credit. Some of you should be in bed now because you don't sleep enough, damn it, because they have you getting up at six o'clock in the morning, going to fucking school. All right. Um, and and the, until we can get them to, you know, go late. And I also know that physically your brain is most active now. So you should really be sleeping in the morning when they have you at school, which some of you are anyway, <laughs> but I want it to be flexible so that if you fall asleep while I'm finishing this sentence, <laughs> you can finish it in the morning. Okay. Um, yes. See? Yeah, they, exactly. Angela, that's the, that's, those are the questions, right? Your favorite curse word? What do you hope to hear? That yeah, those those are great questions. So um, we'll be having those. So the first assignment 
Um, the first assignment. Okay. The Hall asked a question. The first assignment will be on September 15th. Just checking. Um, not really. Um, that, that first assignment. I mean, I will post it then, but you don't have, it won't be due then. Okay. Um, so, you know, the first mini assignment will be kind of posted a little earlier. Um, but the first lecture on the 20th and then everything will be kind of due after that. All right. You are here. You are participating. Everybody starts with an A in my class. You don't start with a zero. You start with an A and then you have to take from there. So, you know, I have to you have to take points from Slytherin House. You all, everybody starts with 100. All right. Um, other questions, other, con other concerns? Yeah, we did watch it together. James Lipton. And again, if you if you want to if you don't know who James Lipton is, just Google Will Ferrell, James Lipton. That's all you need to do. If you've never heard of him, you can watch the Will Ferrell impersonation of James Lipton, and it's it's better than the real thing. Yep, and due dates will be on the website uh, by the end of the week, as I mentioned earlier. Thank you, Cheyenne, for reminding me. All right, any other questions? Any other concerns? If not, you know, I'll, I'll end today by singing Frank Sinatra's My Way. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Shy's face. Like, there was a little concern there. I, I that's, that's why I do it. All right. Um, yeah, I do too, Angela. That's why I brought her along, uh, because I needed someone to keep me honest. And um, she reminds me a lot of you, weirdly enough, um, but just a squirrelier version like less composed. So more like me, but like you. All right. Um, and good night, everybody. I appreciate you uh, for coming. I uh, appreciate you for being here for this, this, uh, this first kind of dry run. I'm sorry I, the, that I didn't have the rolls prepared and the desserts ready, uh, but this is a dry run on the restaurant. And, you know, we just have to make sure that the wait staff knows all the proper procedures in the, in the uh, point of sale su uh, system. So, all right. Thank you again and come back to Applebee's next time. All right. Bye-bye.